in the enchanting village of Harmonia, nestled between rolling hills and a shimmering river, lived a young girl named Arya. Arya was known throughout the village for her unparalleled skill with the violin. Her melodies had a magical quality that could evoke a spectrum of emotions in those who listened. Whether it was the joyful notes of a sunlit morning or the melancholic strains of a moonlit night, Arya's music had the power to touch hearts and souls. Arya's days were filled with practice and performances. Each one met with thunderous applause and adoration from the villagers. Her parents, Martyr and Elias, beamed with pride at their daughter's accomplishments. Arya's success was celebrated far and wide, and invitations poured in for her to perform in grand concerts across the kingdom. One evening, as the sun painted the sky with hues of orange and pink, an old man named Ezra arrived in Harmonia. With a hunched back and a staff in hand, he was a stranger to the villagers. Curiosity peaked. Arya approached him. Her violin slung over her shoulder. Good evening, sir. Are you lost? She inquired with a warm smile. Ezra's eyes twinkled as he gazed at her violin. Ah, I am not lost, young one. I am a traveler seeking shelter for the night. However, it is not shelter I seek but rather a melody that will embrace both the joys and sorrows of life. Arya was intrigued. I can play such a melody for you. But first, you must share your story. Ezra agreed and began to speak. He recounted tales of his journey through distant lands. Of the people he had met and the experiences he had gathered. He spoke of moments of triumph that filled hearts with elation and failures that taught lessons. Beyond measure, as he spoke, Arya realized that her music had always celebrated success but had shied away from acknowledging the beauty in failure. The old man's words resonated deeply with Arya, and she made a decision. She would compose a melody that captured the essence of both success and failure weaving them into a harmonious symphony. For days and nights, she worked tirelessly, pouring her heart and soul into each note. Her music room echoed with the sounds of triumph and the echoes of setbacks, all coming together to create something truly magical. Finally, the day of Ezra's departure arrived. Arya stood before him, her violin ready. With a deep breath, she began to play. The melody flowed, sometimes rising with exultation, sometimes descending with melancholy. It was a tapestry of life itself, a tribute to the beauty in both the highs and lows. As Arya played, tears welled up in Ezra's eyes. When she finished, he clapped slowly, his heart brimming with emotion. My dear Arya, you have gifted me a melody that encapsulates the essence of life. Your willingness to embrace both successes and failures has created a masterpiece that will forever touch the hearts of those who hear it. Word of Arya's new composition spread like wildfire. And soon, people from near and far flocked to Harmonia to hear the symphony of triumph and tribulation. As they listened, their hearts were stirred. And many found solace in the realization that both successes and failures were essential threads in the grand tapestry of life. Arya's fame spread not only for her exceptional skill but also for the wisdom she had gained. Her performances became more than entertainment. They became transformative experiences, guiding others to appreciate and embrace the duality of life. Her journey had taught her that true success lay not just in the applause of others, but in her ability to learn and grow from both triumphs and failures. And so, in the village of Harmonia, the symphony of triumph and tribulation continued to be played, a testament to the profound moral that Arya had learned and shared with the world, the importance of embracing and appreciating every note. Whether it be a soaring crescendo of success or a gentle, reflective tune of failure, 